to introduce Enrique Morales. Morones. Morones, I'm sorry. Morales. <laughs> Morales, Morones. Mexicans look alike. Yeah. No, no, no. That's a good thing. We're not going there. Um, Enrique Morones, who is the founder of Border Angels, an organization he established in 1986. Border Angels places water in the deserts and provides blankets and tarps for migrants so that they can be safe in their journey. Mr. Morones has served as an advisor to Mexican President Vicente Fox and now President Calderon. He established March in Migrantes and founded Gente Unida to expose and denounce racism, hatred, hate crimes, and hate groups. Mr. Morones has received numerous awards, including in December 9, 2009, Mexico's highest national human rights award. Please welcome Enrique Morones. Muchas gracias. Primeramente quiero darle la bienvenida a tantas personas que vienen de tantos lugares para estar con nosotros el día de hoy. I would like to uh, welcome all the people that are with us from all over. I know there's some people that are stopping here from uh, New Mexico. We have the, the Unitarians that have come from all over the country. We have people that have come all the way from North County, San Diego. I see now we over there from Orange County, the best videographer is right there, right in the front there. So uh, well, welcome to all of you. And, uh, and I want to thank uh, uh, Mar Cárdenas for inviting me and, and for the great work that she does, as well as one of my strongest influences, Micaela Saucedo, who's right over here, who's the person that runs Casa Refugio Elvira, a shelter for women and undocumented kids. And see her afterwards. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the best of times when the world responds to a crisis like what we have in Haiti, like we have in Chile, but it's the worst of times that it takes an earthquake for people to open up their eyes and hearts to see of the injustice that's taking place around the world today. It is the best of times, it is the worst of times. It is the best of times when the world gathers to celebrate the Olympics, but it's the worst of times when people do not acknowledge that every day the world should be gathered together in the celebration of life because we're all of the same race, the human race. And we should act that way every day whether the cameras are on or off. Our brothers and sisters are just that, our brothers and sisters. It was the best of times when we elect a president like Barack Obama. But it's the worst of times when, when small voices on the far right make a lot of noise and they stop progress. We need to move forward. It was the best of times when today and tomorrow we will continue to stand on the side of love. In love, we know that it's the only way to overcome hate. Love is the only way to overcome darkness. It is love that makes the world go round. One day when Mahatma Gandhi was asked, you do these marches, these rallies, these fasts, what is your message? And Mahatma Gandhi said, my message is my life. And it's important that we act in that manner. My message is my life. Now is the time. Now is the time for love. Now is the time for justice and liberty for all. On November 9th this past year, the world celebrated the 20th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. Well, every summer, every summer, more people die crossing the Mexican-US border than the entire history of the, of the Berlin Wall. And those are real people. Marco Antonio Villaseñor was a real person. He was a five-year-old boy. A five-year-old boy that crossed for the reason that many of you are here today, because your forefathers crossed, for economic opportunity. And as he crossed, he became very thirsty. And he asked his father for some water. But his father wouldn't give him any water. So he asked the next man, and the next man, and the next 18 men in total. And neither of them would give him water. Why would they not give him water? Not even his father. They were already dead. And Marco Antonio also died. 19 human beings perished in May of 2003 in Victoria, Texas. It's not only men and little boys, it's also women. Because the only other reason people come here, in general, is family reunification. I want to be with my wife, my daughter, my son, like Lucrecia Dominguez. Lucrecia crossed, and she crossed, and she hired a smuggler. And the smuggler said, whatever you do, don't bring those two kids with you. Jesus, the 15-year-old boy, and Nora, the 7-year-old girl. But she brought them anyways, and of course the smuggler charged for all three. 
And the reason he didn't want them to bring them, they were going to slow the group down. So as they're crossing, they do slow the group down. So the smuggler says, I'm not giving you your money back. You cross on your own. And as they're crossing, Lucrecia literally dies in the arms of Jesus, her 15-year-old son. Now is the time. Now is the time for us to have humane immigration reform. Every day since October 1st of 1994, when Operation Gatekeeper, the wall that some of you saw the other day, two people die crossing the border. Every day. Today, two people will die. And I can guarantee you, with the exception of a handful of people, you don't know the names of the people. But you know who took the place of uh, Paul Abdul on American Idol or, or who won the gold medal. Those things are nice, but this is important. These are human lives we're talking about. Our brothers and sisters, now is the time. You cannot legislate morality. One of the great lessons of one of the kings, Martin Luther King, and it's injustice here that is injustice everywhere. We need to speak out. We need to have these rallies. We need to stand on the side of love. For those that do make it, for those that do make it, they realize that these streets are not made of gold. Luis Ramirez was one of those persons that did make it. And he's walking along the street in Shenandoah, Pennsylvania, with his Anglo girlfriend, the mother of his two children. And these three kids, these three good kids, decided to beat up a Mexican that day. And they only not only beat him up, they killed him yelling racial slurs as they were beating him up. Luis Ramirez died two summers ago, leaving behind two children. Now is the time for love. Marcelo Lucero, he was killed because they thought he was Mexican. These seven people decided to have a beaner boot party. And they found this young man walking through the streets of Penchegui, Long Island, New York. And they kicked him to death. His name was Marcelo Lucero from the great country of Ecuador. Now is the time for love. Now is the time for justice. Micaela, myself, and others around, we went to those places to hold prayer vigils for those people because not only do we pray for them and their families, but also the perpetrators of those crimes. They weren't born that way. Something went wrong along the way. Their friends, their parents, who knows? Now is the time to stand on the side of love. When people tell us those undocumented people don't pay taxes, when was the last time you were in a store and you heard somebody speaking another language and the clerk says, oh, I see you speak another language. Are you documented or undocumented? Because if you're undocumented, you don't have to pay taxes. Never. When was the last time, when was the last time you saw a Latino on a corner with a sign that says, we'll work for food? You don't see it. And if you do, I guarantee you they were born here. You go to the Home Depot, they're standing there, but they're looking for work like Tina and the great work, Tina Jillians and the people from North County are always out there doing. It's important that we realize now is the time. Now is the time. Because the loudest voice that's heard out there is the silence. And we need to speak out. We need to speak out with love. Those people always want to speak in their own language, wave their own flags, hang out in their own communities. Lou Dobbs used to say that on CNN until we kicked them off, right? But you know who also said that? Benjamin Franklin, talking about Germans. It was mentioned earlier. They have been trying to dehumanize people forever, not only here, in other places as well. And laws that are immoral need to be changed. It was, child labor was a law. The grandmothers and maybe even mothers of some of you couldn't vote because women couldn't vote. And the worst law of all, slavery. Those were laws in this land, but somebody had to stand up and say, but it's immoral. That's why it's so important that we all stand together on the side of love. And I hope that you'll join me in this short prayer as I close, because this is a prayer that was written at the National Migration Week at a conference called All Come Bearing Gifts. And it's the, uh, the Catholic bishops that had this con held this conference. And the response is, Lord, you are the gift and you are the giver. We welcome you into our hearts and our homes, dear Lord. Lord, you are the gift and you are the giver. We welcome you in the person of the migrant farm worker whose labor brings the fruits to the, of the field and the vine to our tables. Lord, you are the gift and you 